Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. I feel like I have not had enough time to do like the TikTok and Instagram vlogs that I normally do or just do as many of them. So I'm definitely gonna be trying to do more of them on YouTube. So stay tuned if you like them. Typically it's easier for me to do like weekend vlogs on YouTube because I can just take the camera around all weekend. My husband's home, so I like have extra hands on deck. But that is what we are gonna do this weekend. Nick is upstairs finishing up some work. I just started some dinner. We're gonna have like some chicken quesadillas, I think. I feel like we've been really resourceful with our groceries this week and like using what we have, which always makes me feel good. But I got some things in on Amazon. I'm just gonna open some stuff up, see what everything looks like. And I it. I think we're asking for a try-on. So maybe tomorrow or something, when it all comes in, I'll try it all on for you guys. What do you think? Yeah, I think that'll be fun. Tiki! <gasps> Look, you got your people? He loves his little people. These are our newest additions. We got this guy today because we don't have any guys with red hair. And this guy came in the truck. We got baby tomatoes. We got lettuce and onion. We had to switch gears so that Nick could chop up stuff. I could cook the quesadillas. But uh, he can't keep up with the demand. Tukey is every, for every four <laughs> tomato slices I put over here, Tukey takes three. Of course, all the babies, minus Millie. Up my butt. Up mommy's butt for the case, I quesadillas. Find anywhere else to be. See how dirty that pan is? You're gonna be scrubbing later. I ain't scrubbing, I ain't scrubbing nothing. You're scrubbing that, cause I'm not. Uh. Bear Bear, you're gonna scrub it, and Riley. Everyone always gets some free kibbles. <laughs> During feeding time. Good job. Good job, baby. Riley's is done. Is that mine you're cutting up, or is there a reason there's only one on your plate? Is that yours I'm cutting up? No, it's what's mine. Why did you ask for two if you're not going to eat two? Wait, I thought that was like the communal plate. Like, that's just where the stuff's called. No, that was my. I don't had two, I don't had get two. another plate. Here, give me Tuki's plate. I had, I had, okay. So many dishes. Put that, yeah, knife in the sink or something. You're gonna be cleaning them later anyway. Uh, 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 you're doing it. Better for you. Oh, thank you. Also, you guys, we were just talking about this. I don't know how I haven't already told you. I got an eye exam today. I went to get my glasses prescription so I could order new glasses and it had expired. So I scheduled an exam. I have never been fitted for contacts. I got fitted for contacts today. I feel like my life has changed. Like I, they gave me some to wear home. I'm wearing contacts right now and I can actually see the camera, which is unheard of for me. That would not be the case before. I don't know how you lasted this long without him. No, and my left eye was terrible. Like when he was covering up the different sides, I was literally like, um, the left eye is so bad. The right eye was literally carrying the team on her back. Tiki is currently dipping your straw. He's dipping my straw in the dog, dog bowl. bowl, please. Yeah, Come I mean, on, grab it. It's hard to, I mean, it's. Grab the straw, please. Thank you, buddy. Quesadillas came out delicious. Rhett already ate his. His was chicken and cheese. I want sour cream and Yeah, I got and sour cream and salsa. Come here, baby. Hey, Bubba. Come here. Ours are chicken, cheese. Oh. I chopped up some tomatoes and onions and threw them inside. Another bite of yours? And I chopped yeah. up some lettuce for you if you want lettuce. Oh, I do. I do. I do. I do. I don't eat lettuce. But... I do. I do. I do. I do. Where should I do? Jolene. Yeah, do you want sour cream, you said? Yeah, please. On it, but I usually... I'm just gonna like mix and eat these together. Yum. Just got right down for bed, did a quick little reset. I'm gonna sweep, Nick's doing the dishes, and then I'm gonna go take like the most unesthetic bath ever. I'm gonna get in Rhett's bathtub that's probably full of his toys, but I need to scrub off all of my self tanner. I have something really exciting that I'm doing Sunday and I need to have fresh skin for it. So I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna head up for bed. Good morning. Good morning, Rhett. Did you have a good sleep? Or did you wake up a couple times? So I waked up a couple times. Stayed up for an hour and a half at three. Bear Bear. Rai Rai! Is that Rai Rai? Good morning, Riley. In your blankie. Good morning. Should we go wake that mommy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go wake her up. That's yeah. it. Yeah. 
Oh, let's go. Go get her. What are you looking forward to the most on your weekend? Sleep. You ain't sleeping. It's time to get up. What are we doing over there, family? So we're making coffee. Brett was being so helpful. Now he's pushing all the buttons. It's all done. What kind of coffee are we going with this morning, Mama? Um, I made a caramel Starbucks Nespresso pod. Put some sugar-free caramel syrup in my oat milk. In the fluffer thing. And I wanted to put in some caramel syrup, but it feels kind of empty. So we might... Honey, mm. don't put your head. Um, I do a little white chocolate. Here. You okay, but Oh. Okay. The thing is, <laughs> if I take him down, he's going to get mad. Okay. You're so... Good job. You mommy's little barista? You put it back? Okay, coffee is made. We're about to head out for our walk. But I'm going to show you guys. I'm wearing the gray set that I literally wear all the time. I got it in pink. I just told my husband that I need to get it in more colors because I'm wearing it so often. Obsessed. I'm gonna make some breakfast because I'm starving. I cannot go anywhere for me. You guys know the drill. Happy eggs. I'm gonna make happy eggs and that's it. Rhett's on his second breakfast. He is having some magic spoon. I feel like I've seen people talk a lot of crap about magic spoon. Did you try it? No, I did not try it. Taste it. I... Also getting going on Caitlin's <laughs> cereal this morning. Not eating that. Get that shit. Just the smell of that alone is <laughs> so horrendous and the fact that it's in my fridge next to other food is like <laughs> omega threes baby omega threes yeah the dogs are they're having spa day today Nick's about to get started millie's getting her bath first because she needs it the worst her skin is so bad she needs a bath but i've seen like all these influencers promote this and then i've seen girls that i know from like college and stuff say that they tried it because influencers promoted it and they're like it's disgusting I mean, I haven't had it with milk because I give it to him like a bowl of Cheerios. So I just eat it like that. I think it tastes good. Four grams of net carbs, 12 grams of protein, zero grams of total sugar. I mean, it doesn't taste exactly like a Cheerio. It's got like a cinnamon flavor. It's called a cinnamon roll. I think they're good. He really likes them. And the whole thing with health foods is like when somebody says that they're really good, they're not saying that they taste like Cheerios. They're not saying that the dog pop tastes like Dr. Pepper. They're saying that it's good. You know what I mean? It's like, you want to lower your expectations a little bit. But we're going to head out to the Children's Museum soon. That's like becoming our weekly thing. But we have a pass, so we need to go as much as we can. And then I need to stop by Kroger because I need to get more Happy Eggs and Poppy. That's like the only thing I go to Kroger for, really. And some Swiffer mop pads. I just mopped a couple days ago, but the floor feels disgusting. And I was just saying, like, you... I don't know. When I was younger, I'd always be like, oh my gosh, a Swiffer doesn't do that good of a job. I love a Swiffer for in-between mops, especially because I have three dogs and I need to do it today. Like I'm itching for a clean day. I don't know how I'm going to fit all this into one day, but like, you know, we're going to try. Okay. Change of plans. We're going to go to Kroger, get the stuff that we need. Nick is going to give Millie her bath. It's like 10, 10. And because Rhett didn't sleep good last night, he's probably not going to make it past like 1130. So I don't think the children's museum is going to be in our cards this morning. But my mom's gonna come over this afternoon after nap with my nephews, so we'll have someone to play with. All is well, it'll all be fine. We're gonna make it work, but we're pulling an audible. We just got back from Kroger, made Rhett some lunch, his classic little veggie pasta with cottage cheese and some chicken. And I'm so bummed because the chicken, this is the chicken that we had from the quesadillas last night. I had it in a container. I was holding him, trying to do everything. And I dropped the container on the ground, shattered everywhere, so. That chicken is the only chicken that made it from the quesadillas last night. But we did go to Kroger. I just got poppies and happy eggs and some cleaning supplies because I told you I'm feeling like icked out by the house. Got some Swiffer wet pads. Got some more safety. This is like my favorite countertop, just like all purpose cleaner. I also got a big thing of powdered Tide because I don't know if you guys follow Go Clean Co, but they use powdered Tide for everything. Um, I don't think I can use it on our floors because they're LVP and you have to like use something specific for them, but I want to wash our walls really badly. So that is what I got the powdered Tide for. So fingers crossed we can do that sometime this weekend. This is the uh, second coffee that Nick has tried to make and not had a cup there. The first time there was no cup at all. And then the second time the it second was like not, it was hitting half in and half out. <laughs> and I have to show you guys what he did when he realized, hold on. Okay, when he realized that the cup wasn't on, he was standing back here 
and he like wanted to run fast, but for some reason he couldn't. So he ran like this. Oh my god! And I think I about peed my pants. Okay, I can tell you exactly why I couldn't run fast because we have three dogs and a toddler okay. in my pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazon orders from this week, but like 75% of it is. I told you guys it's getting a little out of control, but the fun part about that is I can try it all on for you guys and show you how cute it is. I'm gonna get closer to show you the hats, but this is the first one, the Heritage Collection hat. So cute. I don't have like a black hat, so I think this is perfect. And they're like off-white, which is even better. Um, and then this one, I feel like a little bit more of a statement, but the timeless, the red so cute and it was so funny because these are listed as unisex online and my husband's like i'm not gonna wear those because i'm trying to justify my purchases i'm like we can share those hats tell me why he was wearing the red one all day yesterday in a meeting men okay next things are these like little skims inspired tops like the fabric is very buttery soft um i love this brand this is the kinsen kinsen q i n s e n i don't know if i'm saying that right brand on Amazon but I love their stuff I got the same like little square neck short sleeve top in pink and in like this olivey dark green color um they have such good basics such good sets I love getting things from them I know that the quality is going to be really good so let's try these on okay, so here's the first one the pink they're like a square neck short sleeve top and you see what I mean they're just like snug and fitted buttery soft I'm just loving pink lately so I love this okay and then here is the green I don't know if you can tell but like my eyes are popping okay this top I am very unimpressed with I don't even think the camera is like doing justice but this is a burnt orange it was supposed to be neon orange um which is why I bought it and I was really excited to wear it for like spring and summer but it's not um the fit is nice and the fabric like it's like a stretchy fabric it's like a nice little basic like i think ordering it in like black or brown or white would be fine but i don't trust the colors so i think i'm just going to return this not exchange okay while i have this little undershirt type of shirt on um i wanted to put on this denim jumpsuit i don't know if you can see the full thing um it's so stinking cute it's like big and slouchy it has these big pockets on the front and it's got like seams for detailing it's got buckles in the back so stinking cute i saw something really similar on the free people website and this was not free people money okay this was like under 50 bucks so i had been like sharing it and i was like i need it like i need to buy it so i did i love it i've already worn it 100 percent worth the money okay the next thing i grabbed was this little pink top and this i'm actually pleased with the color um i bought these together like i was like oh neon pink neon orange so cute um only the pink came through i am like slightly worried about the size i got a small and it just looks like really slouchy like a really low cut okay, i really don't know how i feel about this top um i think it's cute i don't think it's something that i like typically go for which is why i'm struggling like this kind of baby doll-esque situation just makes the midsection look bigger um i think if i was like straight skinny all the way down like to size zero i wouldn't even question i'd be like so cute um and the leggings are definitely throwing me off like i think i should be wearing this with like a pair of jeans or jean shorts because i really think the top has like potential um but i think it also has potential to make me look like i am with child and that's not what we're going for at all so i don't know let me know what you think about the pink top i think maybe with like a hair up situation like i said like a little pair of shorts maybe that's cute maybe i'm just not styling it i mean obviously i'm not styling it more in yoga pants but I'm on the fence about this one. Okay, I got some boxers. This is like one of the trends that I've been seeing for spring and summer that I just haven't seen before. Um, maybe I live under a rock. That's probably it. But I was very skeptical until I got them. I love them. Um, they're really lightweight, but they're like long, you know, like they are inches below my butt. Nothing is hanging out. Um, they're very comfy. I think if you like like a linen short or something like that, then you would really like these. Okay. These are the tops that I opened last night with y'all that I was like, I'm not sure about the black because it's like spring and summer. Okay. Um, I think it's really cute with the boxer and it's like really loud. Oh, I can't talk. It's really lightweight. It's like really slouchy. Um, and it has that like ribbed wavy texture. Um, so I think that's really fun, but I did also grab it in white. So we need to give her a moment. All right. This is the white. 
I'm like not doing this haul justice because half of the things I'm wearing was something you could style it with and the other half I am not at all um but this is the white top I think this is perfect for like an elevated version of a white button up I really like this honestly I'm trying not to give away my Easter outfits either so the next couple pieces I need you to just like pretend like you can't put two and two together with what's gonna go with what okay I need you to just pretend okay this is a little pink sweater dress that i grabbed like i said for easter styling um i don't think this will be the top that goes underneath of it because it's looking a little bulky but we shall see okay i got these hot pink pants they have like a lettuce cut at the bottom they're like a slouchy wide leg and they actually have the same texture the wavy texture well these are actually more like just like pleated um but it's kind of like giving with the top being wavy i really like i really like these Okay, the last thing, I feel like I'm going to lose some of you guys here, but if you have a similar style as me, you'll think this is darling, literally darling, okay? It's like a cream muslin kind of texture, embroidery all around the edges, and then the front is just beautiful. I think for spring and summer, you could like wear this open with like a tube top under it. You could like pin it with a little safety pin underneath, and like maybe if you're being sultry, you could wear it like that. Um, I am styling this for Easter, so that is not how I'll be wearing it. I just think it is so darling. I'm not gonna lie. I think with a pair of denim, this would literally slay. Okay, last two things I got were some earrings. I'm very excited about them. Right now, I have like huggies and a little ear cuff in, which I really like, but I wanted something new and different. And I got like two sets of little tiny earrings. I'll try to put like pictures here to wear together on both sides, because this side, I just have the huggy. I don't have um, anything over here. I had bought another cuff, but it wasn't really comfortable on my ear. This one I've worn forever, but I got these to wear together. I'm really excited. I think I'm gonna do like a separate little reel on them. So check that out. I'll put everything in my storefront. Um, if you guys have questions about sizing, anything like that, let me know. I'm pretty much gonna keep everything except for the orange top and maybe that flowy pink top, but let me know if you think that's like a mistake, if I should keep those. But now this is just extra stuff that I had that I need to put away. I need to put all of that stuff away. My mom is gonna be here in like 30 minutes with my nephews, so we're gonna let everybody play. Look who is away. My angel. Yeah. Say hi. Bye. 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 Look. <gasps> That's you, honey. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you gonna have a snack? Your cousins are coming over. You need to have a snack before they get here. You ready to play? You gonna play? Gonna play. <laughs> yeah. You need to have those curly teeth. <laughs> 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 <Again. laughs> <laughs> Come on. It's just like a change of plans on the fly kind of day because we were going to go out for dinner. Now we're staying in. Um, but we're making grinder sandwiches. That's like the name that maybe TikTok, TikTok coined. Why can I not talk? Um, maybe that's the actual name for it. I don't know. It's kind of just like an Italian sandwich. Um, but for the toppings, you mix like lettuce, romaine lettuce chopped up with banana peppers. And then you put mayonnaise, red wine vinegar, a little salt and pepper, mix it up. So it's kind of like a salad. And then we do like tomato and onion too. It is the best sandwich. I'm telling you, like me and Nick, my mouth was watering. Just thinking about it. Um, we got some salt and vinegar chips to go with it. Rhett loves an Italian sandwich, so he'll probably eat it without like the toppings. Drip, Cheers. Drippy, drippy. Oh my God. Oh my God. I just changed into my PJs. I'm eating a ball of cookie dough. Um, and these are winter PJs and I'm manifesting spring, but they're cute and pink, so whatever. But we had a really good day today. I can't chill ever, so I just cleaned up downstairs after I put Red to bed and like did the Swiffer mop because I full on mopped a couple days ago and then it rained, it was disgusting. I just can't let it be. My house is just giving me the ick. I told y'all it's dirty. So Swiffer mopped and then I don't know why I try really hard not to let like other people's energy get to me but I feel like I'm having one of those days where I'm feeling affected by other people's energy like there's no reason for me to be like feeling sad or down right now because we had a good day but I am hence the ball of cookie dough um so that's a bummer so I'm feeling like 
like I don't know I'm just feeling down I'm feeling like the stuff I did today wasn't useful um just questioning the things that I'm like saying when I'm talking to people which I hate doing I'm gonna wash my face do my skincare I'm going to get into bed and actually read my book I haven't been reading my book the past few nights I've been like getting in bed and trying to read it and I'm just not interested if you're a reader if you're into like the romance semi-spicy kind of books what do you like because i read icebreaker and i loved that so then i read the second book in the maple hill series which is wildfire it's what i'm reading now and i'm just really stuck like i don't know why i'm stuck but it's making me upset because i was really enjoying reading and now i'm just like ugh, not enjoying it so i'm gonna try to power through my book Hopefully I'm just like at a dull spot or something. Um, but if you have other book recs, send them to me. And I'm going to go to bed and I'm going to reset because I have a fun day tomorrow. And I need to just clear my head and go to bed and start new. <laughs> Come with me. Toot toot. <laughs> so you want to tell everyone where we slept last night? So did mommy sleep in the, the crib with you? I slept in the crib for I don't even know how long. I woke up at like 3.45 and the right side of my body was just broken. I was like, I need to get back in my own bed. But at least we slept, right? It was raining, just Y or E-Y? Just, it, just it, Y. R-A-I-N-Y. Why are words looking so weird to me? <laughs> I don't know. Words are not weird to me. Because like, you can't who, spell. Who came up with these words? He just asked me how to spell rainy. What did you ask me how to spell yesterday? Uh, it was something so easy. It just looked weird. I'm just like, as I type it out, like, what is this word? Uh, it was something that was like, now nah, it's going to drive me crazy. It was the easiest word ever, though. Um, Duh. Huh? Duh. Duh. <laughs> it was something with a Y. I think again you asked me if it was like E Y or something. It was Y's and E Y's, I before E's. Or it was a word like read, and you were like, I just keep thinking it's like red, but it wasn't read. I don't know. Anywho, I was just severely humbled by putting in my contacts. Um, they make you do like a little training when you get fitted or whatever, and I put them in so easily. This time probably took me 10 minutes and I lost a left contact so I had to start over and I only have five until I order them so that's great lost contact but we got some stuff to get done today so I figured I'd put them in we're gonna make some coffee um that's from the grocery store I have a photo shoot for my friend's spray tanning business at four um and then I think also our friends are gonna come over for dinner tonight Dan and Camille coming over they said they bring steak we can make sides and our friend Camille is pregnant and she was like I've been thinking about this potato salad so obviously we're gonna make that potato salad thank you good job so smart maybe you can help me on like I swear like Instagram everything just hates me why but maybe I'll just have to edit and splice why are you editing an Instagram again like I'm literally just cropped in the first image so I just like that so I just do it and slice them yes I don't know how many times I've told Nick, do not edit an Instagram, and he still wants to do it. And then you have to post it to TikTok and YouTube Shorts, oh, that's true. and you're going to be like, oh, I didn't edit it in there. Can you edit it for me? Shut up! <laughs> just freaking edit it in Splice! It's also so crazy to be sitting on the couch, like, just a normal distance away from the TV, and actually be able to see it, because that has not been the case for me for years. You look like a little gardening gnome back there. <laughs> <laughs> it grabs my face so fast. <laughs> Come with me, <laughs> and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. You're giving me the egg. <laughs> <laughs> That's my song. We're on done. Me. It was your face at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like it. I don't know if you guys have seen people making like the candy salads on TikTok. I have been seeing that. Um, and they're making you know, like themed candy salads. So I just saw one where a girl made Easter candy salad and Nick was like, ew, Easter candy is disgusting. But it's like, okay, trolley gummy or jelly beans and then trolley gummy bunnies and 
salad pot jelly beans and starburst jelly beans and just all the yummy 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 candies so um i decided i wanted to do that and i got a big old jar so we're gonna make candy salad together i can't i literally love watching asmr videos so i'm gonna give you guys a little asmr moment while we do this easter candy salad I still have the clip on mic on because I don't really know how to switch it out to the other one and I don't feel like doing it right now. But I've just been cleaning up, cleaning the mirrors, cleaning the walls. I'm just gonna take it like one room at a time. Um, and I'm gonna show you like kind of what I'm talking about. This is a good example. We've lived here for two years and there's just like scuffs and marks and some of them are like scratches. I'm gonna have to like hit with the magic eraser and then see if I can maybe paint over them. But some of it is just like, food and dirt and fingerprints. Um, so I've been scrubbing and I've scrubbed like this whole wall, this kind of area, not up into the stairs. We're just like in clean mode right now because Rhett's asleep. But I don't know if you can really tell this area like looks so super white to me. There's obviously like some little scratch marks, but I like went and did the baseboards. Just a powdered Tide in hot water and it literally like, Nick kept telling me it smells so good in here. And I'm like, it's just powdered Tide. But when we came back from Walmart, I was like, okay, it actually smells like Skittles or something in here. Um, and that was before I made the candy salad. So it's also just like making the house smell better. Hi. You wanna come take a look? Yeah, it's hard to see you in this lighting. See, <sighs> so Bear has a show coming up next month. So he really needs to be like on his, on his fluffs. You look a lot like your mother right now. Look at the feet. <laughs> okay, but they're still so cute. <laughs> okay, we are getting freshened up for the photo shoot. A girl that I went to college with owns a spray tanning business and she's amazing, so talented. I used to get spray tanned by her all the time when I was working in spas. Um, now I'm a stay at home mom, so I really only do a spray tan for like special events. But anyways, love them. She reached out and asked me if I would be in a video shoot for her. And one thing about me is I just love to do like photo shoots. Like I've had some local photographers ask me my husband or just me to like model before. And I love that. I think it's so fun. I love girly things like getting dressed up for stuff like that. Um, so I just immediately said yes. Like not even thinking that I'm going to have to be in a bathing suit um, for the shoot, which not the end of the world, right? Like I've been in a bathing suit. I had my son um, 17 months ago. Well, I can't remember that because I'm like frazzled now. Um, I've been in a bathing suit. I've been around friends and family, but not to the point where I'm like taking a bunch of pictures and videos in my bathing suit. Um, and it's not that I like don't, I was just having this conversation with my husband. It's not that I like don't like the way that I look or that I feel like I look bad. It's just like, I don't look perfect. You know what I mean? But nobody looks perfect and that's okay. But, um, I am a little self-conscious. I'm a little worried. Um, I, I think it's gonna be fine. Honestly, I think it's gonna be fine. I just think like I'm a little self-conscious and I apparently like doing things to push myself out of my comfort zone. Um, that is what I'm going to classify this as. Okay. Not me putting on more deodorant before I go. Does anyone else do that though? Like before you put your deodorant on, I have to sniff it. I don't know why I do that. But yeah, she said wear whatever because she has some pictures and videos she needs to get of me and like their post tan sets. Um, but since I will be going home in a spray tan, I'm just putting on this like black flowy top and you can't see, but I'm wearing my boxers that I showed you guys yesterday. But it's time to go, so let's do it. Tan is done, shoot is done, it's so freaking fun. Also, how cute is the studio? Not over it. How freaking good. Mac and cheese, green beans, steaks, this crispy loaded potato salad. That looks good. Woo! Over it. Yeah. You're like, oh, like that's like. He said, then make that up. Hey, Noodle. Friends are gone home. That's in bed. We're just cleaning up. Putting the house to bed. I already took my contacts out, so I'm feeling blind. Um, but 
we're wrapping it up i need to wash this tan off in like an hour or so i think we're just gonna lay in bed got some cookies in the oven per usual but thank you guys so much for spending the weekend with us i love sharing these if you like the vlog if you want to see more vlogs make sure you like comment subscribe we will see you next time